family picture day and it's currently hailing. It's supposed to clear up, so I think it's gonna be okay. But right now, Hannah's catching ice from the sky. <laughs> currently hiking through the desert. Family picture time. This is Erica, dear Hi. friend, slash photographer, friend first, photographer second. Um, she is one of those photographers that when you have her take your family picture, she takes you out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and at a certain point, you begin to wonder if you're ever going to make it back to civilization. <laughs> also, weather update. Five minutes ago, it was hailing. Thunder and lightning happening. Uh, this is quite an adventure. This is our eighth family picture we've done together. Eight? Eight. That's kind of amazing. Yeah. We should go for 10. That's wild. We should go for more than 10. Okay, good call. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, yeah. also, none of us are wearing glasses in uh, right now and I can't really see, um, but it's cause uh, we're all thinking about getting contact lenses soon. So family pictures <laughs> with no glasses. I think it's going so far. Good? I'm cold. I'm crying. <laughs> but I'm happy. No, it's the Saltzman's turn. Oh, this is so pretty right here. One, two, three. Oh, I love it. One, two, three. Lena, way. can you cross your ankles? You're doing a great job. Towards right. me? Uh, <laughs> this is a video, just so you know. Do you think that looks like a good thing? Three, three, three. <laughs> interesting things about doing a doctorate program is you end up with a ton of books just like all over the place. Uh, I'm actually coming into the church today to drop off some of these books, but I want to talk about something else. I want to take a few minutes to talk about politics. Okay, more accurately, I actually want to talk about why I'm not going to be talking about politics on this channel. In fact, let me give you three reasons why I don't want to use this channel to talk about politics. Side note, if you want to use your voice to talk about politics, I absolutely encourage you to do that. I just want to tell you why I'm not planning on doing that on this channel. Reason number one is that I'm not actually an American. <gasps> you might be shocked to find that out, especially since I sound like an American, but I've lived here since I was about five years old. I was born in England. My mom is a German citizen. My dad is an English citizen, and I have dual German and English citizenship and American residency here. What that means is that I can't vote in American elections. And since I can't vote in American elections, I've sort of always felt like it wouldn't really be my place to tell people who can vote what they should do with that vote. Reason number two, I just simply believe that some things are better discussed than declared. Politics is one of those things. I personally don't think that it's very helpful for me to tell you all of the things I think about politics without us being able to have a dialogue about it. And no, the YouTube comment section does not count as dialogue. So if you want to have a conversation with me about politics, come and hang out with me and I'll have a cup of coffee with you and we can do dialogue. But I just am not going to spend my time on this channel or spend your time on this channel declaring my political ideas when we can't have a discussion about it. Reason number three is that I want to use my time and energy on this channel to talk about things that I think are a little bit deeper than politics. That's not to say that I think politics aren't important, but I think that our political ideology should actually be informed by our spiritual formation and that's a deeper conversation. That's the conversation I ultimately want to be able to have here on this channel. One final thought is that if you are interested in hearing some of the things I have felt were important to be talking about over the election week, the next two uploads that I make to this channel are going to be the two sermons that I've preached recently at Life Church during the election week. 
It's a two-part series called The Way of the Exiled. It might become a three-part series. It's about Jeremiah talk, talking to the exiles in Babylon about how they should settle and be a part of the community. And it's about Daniel and his friends and how they actively lived as exiles in the Babylon, uh, Babylonian exile. I think these are some great lessons that we can be learning, and I think that it can definitely inform the way we should be living and leading as Christians in this culture that we're in now. So if you're interested in checking that out, that's going to be the next two videos I upload to this channel. And then after that, I'll get back to vlogging. So I'll see you in a couple of videos.